negotiated the entire sale of the journal, and I just backed out. You know, well, you have every right to do that. I was just focused on how lucrative the deal was. It was lucrative. Yeah. Am I crazy? No, I think you're dangerously sane. Well, no one's accused me of that recently. Right? You passed up a pile of money, something I might not have done, but I can't tell you how proud I am of you. Thank you, Ross. Mm -hmm. It feels good. It feels so right. <laughs> You know something? I think tonight is a celebration of you. Of me? Yeah. You're Holly again. Welcome back. Thank you. Oh, I don't believe this. Ross and my mother are having a romantic getaway. Can I get you something to drink? Uh, scotch. Make it a double. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can't drink. I'm pregnant. With his baby. Ross, Hello? listen, I'm glad I found you. I'm going on a business trip to Chicago. Business? What? Mm. Uh, wh Western Publications wants to talk about buying the journal. You're going to sell the journal? I haven't decided. He's inv advising me. Oh, wow. That's great. That's great. Why don't you join us for coffee? We're just going to talk over the details. No, no, no. You guys, um, you guys talk. We'll, um, we'll do it another time. Yes. Yes, another time. I should have seen it. I should have known this was coming. Holly, I'm sorry. What were you going to say? No, it's just that when I made the decision to keep the journal, it came purely from the heart. I took quick stock of my life, and I chose how I wanted it to look. Good for you. Now you do the same. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Was. Here we go. This is where you're going to tell me that there are certain couples that are meant to be together. Blake is meant for me, therefore we should be together, right? I was going to ask you about your career, but since you bring it up... <laughs> I don't believe that for a minute. I was not going to ask you about Blake at all, but that should tell you what's in your heart. Uh, Holly, I do not believe that for a minute. Don't believe what? that you weren't going to ask me about getting back together with Blake. Well, now that it's on the table... Nothing's on the table. I put nothing on the table. Clearly, Blake is in your thoughts. And why shouldn't she be? Why should you deny it? Let me tell you a confidence. Just between you and me? Go ahead. I've been, um, finding myself thinking about Sam, that cowboy. The broke cowboy who told you life was more than money. Right. right. Now, I barely know him, and uh, we have nothing in common, but there it is, oh. my little secret. So now you tell me yours. Do you think about Blake? Holly, please don't. Come on, Ross. Do you ever think about getting back together? Oh, oh God, I've got to talk to somebody. I've got to figure out what to do. Hello? You're not gonna believe this. Wait. I'm not sure anymore. You know what? I don't know where I am. I think I passed over into the Twilight Zone. Wait a minute, wait a minute. W what happened? I'm sitting in a restaurant in Chicago watching Ross and my mother have a post-coital dinner. Harley, what am I gonna do? I'm, how am I gonna tell Ross that I'm pregnant? Oh, Blake. I'm so sorry. This is just awful. This is like some sort of cosmic payback or something. I mean, I stole Ross from my mother in the first place, and now the, the fates are just trying to put it back where it belonged. Stop it. Stop it. Don't do that to yourself. Don't torture yourself. Now, come home. There's nothing you can do there anyway. Well, this is like watching a bad accident or something. I mean, I, I, I don't want to watch, but I, I just can't stop myself. Blake. Blake, stop it. Now, get out of there before they see you. Come back here. We'll talk about it when you come back here. <sighs> Well, maybe you're right. Promise me. Uh, okay. All right. All right. All right. I will. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Oh, God. I can't even have a drink. 
drink. I guess, yeah. I think about Blake upon occasion. You guess? Yeah, I think about uh, the mistakes and what might have been. And I know there were good times as well. She changed my life. And I loved her and I loved the life that we had. And I still love our two boys, of course. But uh, I just got sick and tired of, of getting hurt, of her inability to be happy or faithful for any length of time. And I don't know. The truth is, what man could endure that? And I just need desperately something different. I think she needs something different too. And I think she's changed. I don't think she sees herself as the center of the universe anymore. Oh yeah, she does. Well, I mean, she'll always be Blake. She'll always jump into things before thinking and try too hard and want to help too much. Wouldn't want to change any of that, would we? <laughs> but I, uh, you could be right in one regard that uh, things might be better between us if I talked to her. You mean it? Well, I'm not promising anything. I'm just saying things might be a little more civil, but yes, when we get back to Springfield, I will make it a point. I talk to you. That is something to Oh, yes, remember, thank you for dinner. Yes. Right okay. Has this been a great night? Oh, yeah. It has been a very special night. And I also want to thank you again. Please, no more no, thank yous. It has meant so much to me. It has changed my life. Oh, it was good for me, too. And I don't know about you, but I want to get back to the hotel. Lead the way. Oh, God. I can't hurt my mother like this again. I can't hurt her. She's never going to survive it. I mean, she's just... I told Ross that I'm pregnant with his baby. He's going to leave her. I can never tell Ross. He can never know. Don't panic. But uh, we may have a problem. Oh, great. Well, well, when everyone, anyone tells me not to panic, I panic. So What's the matter? lawyer the court appointed came down with something this morning. What do you mean? He's sick? He's not going to be here? Which means the judge is going to have to appoint another lawyer, which may mean a postponement. Oh, no, Drew can't stand this. She's already running on empty as it is now. She's not the only one. Oh, uh, hold on. I have an idea. Ross! Ross, what are you doing here? This is a courthouse. I'm an attorney. We're made for each other. Yes, I know, but are you here on a case? <laughs> I was. I just wrapped it up. Now, that is timing. What do you want? How would you like to help a kid named Max? Who's Max? And what kind of case yeah, is this? met him. He's, uh, the... Drew Jacobs took him in. He's a good kid. Oh, yeah, I know who he is, yeah. Yeah, he's, um... The court-appointed lawyer is sick, and the uh, judge is having a hard time finding a replacement. And maybe so. if you could take the, the, the case over, we could get this wrapped up today. And... Yeah. I'll talk to the judge right now. Thank you so much. Well, for a kid who's down on his luck, there's not much I wouldn't do. I'll be right back. I'm going through with this, Harley. It's for everybody's sake. Wait a second. We, let's just talk about this for one second. We just did. I know, I know, but... Harley, are you going to come with me? Honey, Ross has a right to know. Don't you understand? Ross does not see this as a welcome family addition. He sees it as a trap. I can't believe He's going to think that I got pregnant on purpose just to force him back into a marriage he does not want. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You... You are emotionally overloaded right now. Listen to yourself. You have got all these bad thoughts in your head. I can't believe any of this is true. I think you just don't know. Neither do you. Do you really know how Ross will react? Really? Don't make this any more difficult than it already is, please. 
No, there's nothing you can say that's going to change Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think there is. Maybe there is something I could say to make you change your mind. Ross, what happened? What did the judge say? Did he say good? Uh, no, good? Much. it's done. It's yeah. done. What, the judge said it's okay? You can be Max's lawyer. Right now. Yes, permission <laughs> granted. Yes. Did you hear that? Yeah, that's great. Thanks, yes. Mr. Marlin. Well, I haven't done anything yet, Max. But he will. He'll also take care of everything. It's so good of you to do this for us, really. Thank I'll you. I'll do everything I can for Max. Right now, my client and I have to have a few words. Come on, Max, this way. That sounds like you were very close to your mother. <laughs> she was great, you know? I mean, the best. We had a blast. She was so funny, too, you know? I know she would have been crazy about Joe. Well, you haven't mentioned your father. So? So I'd like to hear about him, too. Yeah, well, you're better off asking somebody else. Because I never knew him. Because he didn't give me the chance to. Why? What happened? He took off when I was younger. He... He abandoned us. But hey, you know, that, that's his loss, all right? I mean, me and my mom, we got along just fine. We managed without him, and we didn't need him. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just don't understand a father not willing to know his own child. Hey, you got kids, right? Yeah, I got two boys. They're twins. Now, Max, you're right about your father. It's his loss, not willing to know you. I don't know why some men do that. It's... I can't imagine my life without my boys. I know you're going to try to change my mind. I won't do it. I won't do that. I just want you to listen to me. I've been where you are, okay? When I was pregnant with Susan, I kept telling myself it was this big mistake. You know, I was too young. I didn't have any money, and I didn't know where the father was. I didn't know where Dylan was, and Frank didn't need to be saddled with this other person. You know, all these excuses, all these excuses, and what you've said, even more. And I contemplated doing what you are thinking of, and I'm telling you, Blake, when it comes down to it, when it came down to it for me, I couldn't. All right, Harley. Do it. Harley, that was your decision. All right, this is a different situation. I've already had babies. With Ross, there's no way I could hold this baby in my arms and look into her eyes and then give her away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That I, I don't mean to hurt you. Oh, please, I don't mean to hurt you. It's just that this is very different for me. I have already wrecked Ross's life. And this would absolutely kill my mother, and I love both these people. This is my chance to make it up to them. I know you big time for this one. Well, I didn't do anything. All I did was talk to Max, who's a very good kid. He's a great guy. Yeah. yeah. He had a rough childhood. He could use a couple of breaks. I think he got one now getting you as his attorney. <sighs> yeah. You know something? My two kids are always going to know that I'm there for them, for anything, at any time. Best thing Blake and I ever did was have those two boys. You think there's any chance of you getting back with them, like, permanently? Uh, the last time Blake and I spoke, she wasn't too receptive. In fact, she wasn't too civil. She blew up at me, and so I did the same thing to her. I shouted, and I said some terrible things, I guess. That you didn't mean? You know, this is not how I pictured my life turning out. I thought I was going to have a long and wonderful married life with Blake, and it could be a house full of kids, and then there'd be a house full of grandkids, and... Well, you never know. You never know. Ross and my mother, I do. I'm the one who split them up in the first place, remember? When they were happy, they were on their way to the altar, and I split them up out of spite, out of childish spite. Now is my chance to give them a clear path. Are you really sure that they are even together? Oh. Harley, I wish they weren't. I wish I wasn't so sure, but I saw them together in Chicago. Ever since my mother lost Meg, she's been so fragile. I can't hurt her. Not now. Not ever. 
I don't understand this. I don't understand why Holly wouldn't tell you she's with Ross. Oh, well, isn't it obvious she's she's trying not to hurt me? <laughs> oh, my God, after everything I've put my mother through, she has to hide her happiness from me. Mm -hmm. Oh, you seem to know what Holly wants. You seem to know what Ross wants. What do you want? What do you really want, Blake? <sighs> I have thought about me and only me for too long well maybe it's time that i grow up it doesn't matter what i want what i need to do is go to the clinic harley if this were any different i would want this baby I would want, I would go into Ross's office and I would tell him he's gonna be a new daddy and I'd go home and I'd take all my baby things down from the attic, but it's not gonna happen that way. It's Please. not. It's not. It's not going to change. You know, you never know what you're capable of until you're tested. Fill this out and uh, read through these. Take your time. It's important that you're certain before you decide. <clears throat> I uh, to fill this out. Um... Anything in my life work? <sighs> you know what? What? Forget about that for a second. Just read these pamphlets first. That's all here. Black and white. Very logical. All the questions, all the answers. What does it tell you? How to look the father of your child in the eye and pretend that nothing happened. Or does it tell you how to not go to the land of what if every time you see a baby in a stroll? <sighs> I'm not a bad person, Harley. I'm really not. No. You're not. You're not. Blake Marler? Wait. Are you sure this is what you want to do? You have every right to make this choice, and I support you. But make sure you're clear. Blake, make sure you are doing this for the right reasons. you um, how much you mean to me 
how lucky we are to have this baby. We are so blessed. No, I'm fine. Um, I'm going to be home a little later, okay? Kiss him for me. I love you. All right, here's what's happening. Uh, the judge has rescheduled, which is what? good news because it gives me a chance to catch my breath. No, I don't anticipate any major problems, but then again, we'll just have to wait and see. Wait and see. Well, we have time. We have time, right, honey? Yes, we do. Thank you. Thank you so much well, for doing You're the this. one who should be thanked because without a mother and father, you're the only love and stability Max has in his life. I'll be in touch. Thank you. Max? Well, you'll be right.